Hello guys, I'm back. Day two. Uh, went to bed last night. Sad, sad man. <laughs> this sucker, the other pack that I have, which is downstairs, does not work. So, these things are fraud. Anywho, I still am able to get onto the internet, obviously, because I'm running software updates. What I did was I took my dad, our, sorry, my air porch, which I have sitting downstairs, brought it up here, and I plugged it in. I don't have enough cable on my can to get it, but well, I can zoom in. Cool. I plugged in that into my computer. All right, it's it's an extended um extended Wi-Fi, so I have my main airport, which is at Airport Extreme, time capsule, sitting in my other part of my house, and I have this sitting in my other half of my house, which keeps Wi-Fi here, and I'm plugging that directly into my computer. So I'm getting internet. I'm going to be doing software updates here, get it up to um, 10.6.8 I believe, and then I'll get it up to 10.7. Live. But, uh, so I'm going to take my time and install some of the updates. But here's some of the first updates this computer has. It's got airport utility, remote desktop client update, iTunes, iLife support, Mac Pro SMC firmware update. I love firmware updates, they're always fun. Make sure your computer doesn't die or else you lose your computer. Airport Utility, Mac OS X Update Combined, Mac Pro EFI Firmware Update. So I have a few firmware updates, and according to Bootcamp Assist, I, I have a plan, okay? I'm going to be installing Windows XP Professional. Yes, I know it's the updated version of Windows, but I, it's all I have. I have a disk for it. I got it from a friend. Uh, I intend to install a partition of Tiger. So I have all these partitions set out on my main boot up disk, which is going to be my small 250 gigabyte drive, which is standard. You put your smallest one as your boot up disk. Hear that? Oh, that's just beautiful sound. I mean, it's working hard. Uh, it's about almost done, the update. You can see that. Zoom in a little bit. It's uh, almost done installing all the items. It's pretty fast. I mean, considerably, I've updated like 300 laptops in Snow Leopard doing system updates from a local server, uh, update server, which took about 40 minutes. That's This took 35 minutes, and it's using the extended wireless off of a airport, which is makes it extremely slow, you would think, because it's extended off a Wi-Fi access, and it's going through another airport, which you would think would take longer, but it doesn't. It actually took 30 minutes to download all the updates off the Apple servers out in California, so pretty surprised at that, and it's almost done. Installing took literally five minutes to install over two gigabytes of data, which amazes me still. It's crazy. I can't believe it did it that fast. But I just like hearing the noise that it makes with the hard drives writing. It's amazing. Alright. It's moving everything into place. I believe we have a firmware, we had two firmware updates, so it's going to ask me to restart the computer and it's going to update the BIOS. Question, is firmware the same as BIOS or am I just making that up? <laughs> yeah, I think it is, but anyway, I'll be back it's when it's done. done. Alright, All right. it is done. Just finished the updates, took about um, 35 minutes, pretty, pretty good. Updated it to Lion, I think it was 0.6, so it's 10.6.6. Gotta get up to 10.6.8, so I can get up to 10.7, get up and lie, and then do some more software updates. Then I'll finally install some of the operating systems, maybe. Or I'll just update the software so I can use the software finally, because I've been waiting a day to use it, because right now there's nothing to use on it. But it's looking pretty sweet. Oh, look, right there. Look at that. App Store logo. Finally have it on the computer. Well, I have it on my laptop, but... I'm just gonna go. That's the reason I searched over is I was gonna show you. Uh, but uh, my laptop is downstairs. It's gonna find a new home. But uh, that one has the App Store. But this is the first time I have a desktop with the App Store. And let me just tell you, this thing's cooking. It's really nice. I love it. Uh, one thing I really am curious about is how do you open up two CD drives? Because I've done it when we booted it up. When I uh, booted it up and uh, was holding down the mouse to open up the CD drive, I shot both the drives out. I wonder how you do it for the. Uh, for, uh, in the operating system, how do you open up both drives? Actually, just try that. 
Ah, oh, there it is. Found it. Right up there, it has a picture of a um, eject symbol. If you hold it, it shows you the key commands to um, doing it. Right there. You see that? It says open lower, open upper. But anyway, um, oh, if you're wondering what that is, uh, this is my parents' old room. They cleared it out and gave it to me. And my mother is a published author, and as a reward, the University of Penn, which she went to and attended to, sent her this poster that had every woman author that went to Penn ever. So, she's on there somewhere. She's in the mix. She's all the way up there. The mix of the red one. Zoom in on it. Right there. Yeah, right there. The one with the red square in the center. But anyway. Um, I'm going to see if it needs more updates. So let me set it up on the tripod. I'll be right back. The bad news bears. See that monitor over there? It's tinted blue. Um, my guess, from what I've been doing, I pulled the Mac out. When I finished the update, I pulled that out. What I'm getting is is that the wire is shot because I plugged the, I switched the uh, dis displays out, the, the outs on the graphics card, and the monitor, that monitor stays blue, but I plugged it into that into its slot, and that one remained that way. So I'm guessing it's a bad cable, so I'm going to go swap that out. Good news. Bad cable. Placed it. All good. I had a spare, luckily. Well, I had a spare, but, uh, yeah. This was a, uh, stock wire that came with the, um, monitor I got from a friend of mine. And cable. Shot. It's like a monitor. Cheap and cheesy. <laughs> But the monitor, it's a monitor, what can you say? It works, I'll use it, whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. Now I'm going to run it through a series of benchmarks before I go up to the line because I want to see if the performance of the line is faster than it is with Snow Leopard. Oh, okay, it's a software update for now. But, um, I will get up to the line. First, I'm going to do some benchmarks. I'm going to do a Geekbench benchmark, and I'm going to download Minecraft and see how, run, how fast that runs. I'm also going to be doing the um, standard go into your applications folder, select everything but like expose and stuff like that in Time Machine, and start everything up and see how fast it takes. It's a good way to test out how fast your system is, and I'll be doing that. I'll also be checking out the other monitor, switch it up a little bit, see what happens. So, I'll be back when I have Geekbench. Alright, I downloaded the 32-bit the, the 32 bit version of Geekbench, and I'm going to run a benchmark with a 0 0.30 GHz processor I have. Intel Xenon CPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM. It should run fast and smooth. So let's uh, run on the benchmark.